Hello, and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune. Steve and Adam show with Adam and Johannes. Welcome Ooh. back, Johannes. Yay. Hey, so if you uh, watched our previous video, you'll uh, go, go watch the previous video if you haven't uh, with Johannes, where we talk about um, setting up our access to on-premises resources um, very easily. It's very long, but it's very easy. Um, but uh, we've got a, he's got a quick tip because you may have noticed in that video that Adam really struggled to type in <laughs> the full uh, into training lab one dot on Microsoft.com every time as my username. So what do you got, Johannes? So there is a uh, device Profile. configuration template that you can use in Intune that configures a preferred Azure AD tenant domain. So instead of typing Adam at blah, 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 dot com, you, you just type Adam as you are used to with an Active Directory. Oh, well, that's very thing. cool. Yeah. Now, you said there was a caveat to that, though, right? Yes. If you use some sort of automatic logon, like, for example, with a digital signage devices, those kind of things, you sh don't deploy, deploy that config deploy that configuration profile to those devices because the automatic sign-in will break. Okay, but for a normal user who's used to their domain device, this is a great feature add because instead of saying type your email address, you can just say type your username like you're used to typing any other place that you normally type. Yep. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to let you walk me through the configuration. So to start, I'm already logged into a device because we're going to synchronize um, the settings down except, oh, I don't have the, yeah, okay. Anyway, I don't have the company portal, but that's fine. Um, I will synchronize it this way. So once we get it configured, I will do that. So that's ready to go. And we find my, all right. So we are in endpoint.microsoft.com. Yep. So go to devices and uh, windows, and then you create a configuration profile. So windows 10, and then a template. And if you haven't seen this yet, uh, this is all part of the settings catalog. They've revamped the way that this looks. Uh, so you may say, why? Where, where's where's the rest of the things? They're under templates here. Then you pick device restrictions. Okay. Create, give it a really good name. Why not? Yeah. Um, now, you, if you already have a device co configuration profile configured, you could just reuse that. But if you've got multiple domains or something like that that you need to add, you may want to just create all new ones. Yep. Uh, so it just really depends. Uh, then uh, choose password. And you might need to scroll down a little bit. And there you have it. Go. Enable the user to sign in without typing the domain name. Okay. So then we are using uh, Intune. Training lab one dot on microsoft.com. Now, obviously, that's not ideal. We would want to have a custom domain name for this, and so you put that there. But for our tenant, this should work. Okay, and then we want to uh, assign to, I'll assign to all users, even though we've talked about that numerous times. I don't yeah. have groups, I don't have groups set up in this tenant, so that's the whole deal. Um, so, but there are. Uh, at least some minimum applicability rules that go with device restrictions. So we can hit create. And so now it should be deployed to us and uh, we can synchronize that device actually from the cloud. So let's just, actually it's gonna be easier to tell that it's done syncing if we just do it directly on the machine. So we will come here and hit sync, CSPs. So maybe that's different. Um, okay, so we'll try the sign out one more time. If this doesn't work, just trust us that it's supposed to work. It may take a reboot even. There it is. See, check it out. Uh -huh, yeah, that's what we want. So that's kind of cool. Now, so if I wanted to change this to, yeah, there you go. So you just like in any other environment, you can choose to not accept the default. But if you choose the default, then it will append the proper one to it. That's a pretty cool feature. I like that one. So that's it. We're logging in. Done. I'll I'll crop all the <laughs> other stuff from the beginning <laughs> while we're syncing. So just know that in the middle there was a bunch of syncing, but once you get the profile, it's all good. So 
All right, cool. Well, thanks for coming back for a very, very short period of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Johannes. Hope to see yes. you again. Yep, same. <laughs>